Well, everybody, we are here in a magical time on earth. And some of you may be like, what is she talking about and what does she mean? Well, as you can see, there's definitely a lot of uh, dynamics happening in the world. There's a lot of what we call duality happening in the world. There's a lot of availability for us to see conflict and chaos. And, you know, a lot of these lower vibration energies are happening in the world. But I wanted to step on today in this video to remind you of a few things that we live in this 3D Earth experience, which is an experience of duality. So what that actually means is when we are seeing this low vibration, you know, these dynamics, this, this, this really thick, heavy energy, there's also at the same time happening this very vibrancy, this very light, this very creative and abundant energy as well. Because we live in this duality earth, we have to have both. So both are imperative in our maneuvering. Both are imperative in the way we show up. So when we drop and get into this darkness, there is also this light expansion. So if we think about a couple of things, you know, over the last few years, we've definitely been tried as human beings on this earth, you know, through this whole experience that we just went through, um, this development, this segregation, um, when it comes to, you know, us staying home and, you know, all of these dynamics in our life. On the other side, I've spoken to so many people and so many people have said that they have never in their whole entire life had a time where they were able to disconnect, unplug, and finally get reconnected with who they are because the world pretty much stopped. And for a few weeks in there, the world did almost stop for us. You know, like not a lot of people were going out of their homes. Not a lot of people were communicating with other people. They were just segregated in their space, right? And through that, we were able to look inside of ourselves to explore different conversations, to explore, you know, different things in our life. And for myself, and I know for a lot of people I know as well, when this thing started changing and developing and maneuvering for us, we really looked at our lives and said, what is really important for us right now? What is really important for me? Where is my soul being called to align in? What are the feelings that I want to have on an everyday basis? And a lot of us came out going, you know, we no longer want to have this hustle and bustle of the, you know, being out in the nine to five and coming home at seven and making dinner and not spending time with family. You know, a lot of us said that we wanted to make our passion projects priorities. A lot of us said we wanted to do the things that matter and be with the people that matter in our lives. So I don't know about you, but in that space over the last even few years, you might have noticed that that showed up for you as well. And it didn't mean it didn't come with a weight. There was a lot of emotional heaviness coming through over the last couple of years for us and in this life in general, because as we keep opening up our spiritual pathways, all of the pieces in our life that we need in order to shift into new things need to be released. They need to come up for us to heal. They need to come up for us to look at and explore, to be able to heal that within ourselves. And then we're able to shine brighter into the world. So over this last period of time, and I would even say amplified over the last two months even, this light has been like expansive for us. Like we're able to shine it brighter at the same time as, as looking at and dealing with, quote unquote, our inner duality and the outer duality. So right now, you know, there's the surge in gas prices. There's all this dynamic happening out in the Ukraine. There's all of this stuff happening in the world. And obviously, I'm not going to jump on here and talk about politics. But in that dynamic of, of lack, of scarcity, of fear, of in that space is also the duality side of the availability of abundance, of more, of more like connection, of more peace in our lives, of more exploration. But we need to look at it from a different viewpoint. We need to transcend those lower vibration energies and heal and move through and spread peace into the world to help shift the energetics of what is happening and get you yourself aligned in this higher vibrational state. Obviously, there's some things in our life we can't control. You know, we're watching and observing at a global level this dynamic happening. And the one thing that we can step in and control is one, our actions and be how we show up in energy. Those are two things that we can control. And sometimes the action part, we can't do all the things that we want to do. So then it keeps falling back onto who are you being? 
What light are you emanating into the world? What light are you sh showing up in? What light are you showcasing in? How are you stepping into the world? And how are you dynamically changing this conversation in your life for yourself? Because once you step in and take action in this and you prove this out in your own life and you step into this with full heart in this, shifting the duality in your life, then you can shift the outer duality in your life. You can shift that outer duality happening for you. But until you full heartedly step into this and you own it and you own your stuff and you do the deep work and you step into the space, the availability to see the light, the availability to see the options and possibilities, the availability to see the abundance is going to be more challenging for you because you're still carrying the weight of this fear, of this past, of this conversation, of this dynamic. So I just wanted to pop on today to spread that out to you right now for you to consider making a change in your world. You know, I've done a lot of work for myself in my life. I do a lot of work with clients on shifting this paradigm. You know, I specialize in business and helping people get in alignment with their business missions, like what they're here to do on earth. But in that comes up, we come up against these veils of illusion. We come up against these blocks blocking us. We come up against these storylines that are no longer serving our mission on earth. They aren't. So in your life, I guarantee you, you have some too, because you're watching this video firstly. So that I know is a confirmation and B, we all have them, right? We're all being called right now to ascend into this new space, to really step into this new space, to really hone in on this new dynamic. But we need to make a choice to do that. And you need to now choose to step in. You need to choose to see the light every day. You need to choose to see the silver lining every day. You need to choose a light of connection and peace and abundance and like love, right? You need to choose that. And abundance doesn't just mean in money. It means in all things and how you show up in energy and your connections in the world and, you know, all of the dynamic and money obviously is included in that as well. But considering this, so this was on my heart to share with you today. You know, I was um, on a full moon circle last week. So last week was our full moon. Not sure when you're going to be watching this video from a timeline perspective, but in it, that recognition and that remembrance of that duality came through of like, look, the gas prices are surging, but we also need to remember that there's more abundance in the world than there's ever been before. So really leaning into that and looking at that in your own life and how you can step in. So I hope this message serves you. Um, if you want to stay connected, there's some details in the Instagram. My Instagram is down there and all that kind of stuff. And I actually today as well threw down a free course that I have about expanding your intuition. So if you're into that, it's a free mini course. It's a video course. You can uh, definitely get, get signed up for that and take that on if that feels right. But just sending out lots of love and light to you in the world today. And I hope you are having magical things happen in your world. And if not, I hope you are about to. And we'll uh, see you guys next week. Bye for now.